Hello, Live Love family. Happy Friday. I'm here with your weekly update. All right, for intakes, we've got some action happening here now. Um, Oreo came into our Colorado branch. Long story with this guy. Um, he was at a rural shelter, was going to be euthanized. Another rescue grabbed him and put him in temporary boarding while we worked out a plan. So we were really thankful to be able to work with them. And then we finally got him into our care this week. So he is settling in. Woodruff Wilson and Rocksteady Freddy, also known as Getty, uh, came in from Elbax. We had taken them out for the temp fostering program with two of our foster caregivers. And you know how we work, uh, we don't ever like to send them back. So we're working to get their medical taken care of and to understand their personality and what their needs are so that we can eventually work on finding them a forever home and they don't have to return to the shelter. That's definitely the goal. Uh, for foster to adopt, more Colorado news. Nash has started his foster to adopt. He is with a wonderful veterinary technician from our vet partner out there, and we're so excited to see how he is settling in. For adoptions, we have two of our longer term foster to adopts with our puppies. Um, Radish has been neutered, and his adoption is finalized now, so that's great. And Lauren has been spayed, so her foster to adopt is finalized as well. Congratulations to those families. Thank you for adopting. We love all of our adoptive families. We're actually gonna start um, a new little series to highlight adopters and share success stories from people who have adopted from us. A lot of the dogs have had um, you know, different challenges, medical behavior, things like that, and really just appreciating and showing off and honoring these adopters for sticking with it and making a big difference for the dogs that they've taken in. So if you have adopted from us and you have one of these stories, please DM us or text me 562-810-5350. And we would love to feature you on our social media page. I think it's really great for people to see, you know, especially this day and age when we're seeing a lot more adoption returns, um, just to see these uplifting stories of folks who have really committed to the dog that they've adopted and gone, you know, above and beyond to help them acclimate to their home and be comfortable and be a part of their family. So thank you. We love our adopters and I hope to hear from more of you so we can feature more stories. All right. So for medical, um, like I said, Lauren was spayed. So that happened this week. And then Forever Foster Millie, um, she's fully healed up. She had a recheck just to make sure her eyes from her entropian surgery were looking good. And also her ear infection that came up right, you know, kind of out of the blue, that's in the clear and she's doing well. Forever Foster Cookie, speaking of abrupt happenings, um, got a frantic text from her Forever Foster mom and had really nasty wound, like right kind of on her side of her chest. And we couldn't figure out what it was because she's not outside much. She's not been bit by anything, you know, it just looked awful. But um, we determined, we think it was just like a little old lady wart or a cyst. Maybe it was being rubbed on by her harness when she goes outside a few times a day. But anyway, long story short, the mystery wound has been treated and is healing and she's doing better. She's back to eating and feeling better. So little cookie keeps chugging along. She's awesome. And we actually ran into the family who surrendered her at the vet while we were there. So that was really sweet. They got to see her and spend time with her and hopefully they'll keep visiting her in her forever foster home. All right, Woodruff Wilson, who has left Elbax hopefully for good. He had his initial checkup, his senior exam, blood work and urine look great. Um, he needs to be neutered and he has a mass on his neck that the fine needle aspirate showed just a cyst but we're probably gonna go ahead and just take that off while we neuter him, might as well. So those are the medical updates and that's pretty much it for this week. I hope you guys survived uh, 4th of July without too many um, crazy, too much craziness with you know your own pets and stray pets and things like that. I think it went pretty well and um, we're still looking for fosters. We're definitely gonna be posting more about um, a couple of our training cases and just keeping you guys informed. I love doing that. Thank you for following along and sharing in these dogs rescue journeys. Uh, thank you guys for donating. We really appreciate that. I know times are hard right now. Inflation and everything is difficult for everyone, um, but your donations, even if it's dollar, $5, $20, it definitely goes a long way toward helping us along our mission of rescuing and providing for these, these dogs that need us. 
So thank you all so much. I'm sending each of you all of my love and wishing you a wonderful weekend. We'll talk next week.